Good morning, friends. Welcome to our, what's turning out to be monthly uh, Alpha 40 recap slash deck tech video where we kind of talk about the deck we played the previous month of the league and um, make some changes to it and then um, let you know how it did and also let you know what we are changing for the next month. So this is our blue vice build that we played in February. It did better than the Word of Command blue-black deck that we had in January. Um, but as you can see, we used some blue cards. We used some artifacts. We used some white spells. We had Demonic Tutor, Regrowth, some dual lands, planes, those up there. We had four planes, we had some more dual lands, and we had some basic islands. So we played six islands, tundra, savannah, scrubland, four planes, so 16 lands in our mana base. Just like that. Tropical island to give us blue and green, underground sea to give us blue black, and bayou to give us green black. So that's how we can play demonic tutor and regrowth. And then we typically tutor for time twister and then get them, our opponent to have seven cards in their hand so that they take damage off of the black vice. So the artifacts we're using is crystal rod, three copies of black vice, a soul ring for a colorless mana. We used one jade statue and one icy manipulator in the deck. <clears throat> the blue spells, we had the time twister and a copy artifact, which can copy any of the black vices, the soul ring, jade statue, or icy, or their artifacts. And then we had a lot of removal. So we did a psionic blast, Counterspell, two copies of Counterspell, um, two copies of Unsummon to bounce their creatures to their hand so they would take damage from Black Vice. Brain Geyser was our draw spell and mana short to kind of lock them out of mana for a turn. The white spells, we ran three copies of Disenchant, which worked really well this month. Uh, like one copy of Balance instead of the Chaos Orb. Uh, a Ser Angel for creatures and protection, and then Swords of Plowshare to get for more removal to get rid of their creatures. Uh, the, this deck went one in three. It did a little bit better than the Word of Command deck. It lost 0 2 to a white red Savannah Lions Orcish Artillery deck. So I think all four games, we also lost the die roll, so we did not go first. Um, we had to defend against small creatures like uh, the Savannah Lions or Arkish Artillery. The second game, we picked up one game, but we lost the match one to two. It was a mono red deck that had Shivan Dragon in it. So we, we did have success on summoning Shivan, counterspelling Shivan disenchanting their juggernauts, kind of keeping them off creatures. Uh, so this deck did a lot better against creatures. And then the third game we lost, third match, we lost one game to two to a mono red goblins deck. And the fourth game we did win, so we got better throughout the month, and that was a mono black, mono black land destruction deck. So we were able to kind of get around sinkholes and Hypnotic Specters by using Unsummon and Counterspell. Um, so that's kind of where it's at. I think we can make some improvements to it. So these are the six cards I would like to add to this Blue Vice deck this month. It's gonna be a little more white, so that will be balanced kind of 50-50 percentage wise of um, blue spells and white spells. And then a couple more artifacts and a Spell Blast. So I'll put these in. Also, we have these two copies of Island Sanctuary. We picked up one copy last month, 
and we had another copy from last year. So um, I do think having two copies in the deck will help, especially with Howling Mine. Howling Mine is the draw spell. So we'll put in Howling Mine and take out Brain Geyser. Um, Howling Mine, each player draws one extra card during, um, during each turn drawing his or her draw phase. So it's a, a must spell. So then on each player's draw phase, they must draw an extra card. If I have Island Sanctuary in play, this is a May, May ability. So I may decline to draw a card from my library during my draw phase. And in exchange, until the start of my next turn, only creatures that can damage me are those that have fly or have island walk. So that includes Orcish Artillery. They can't ping me for two. Um, Prodigal Sorcerer can't do damage to me. That, that, that covers uh, combat damage and any other um, <clears throat> direct damage spells from creatures. Uh, so let's get these in the deck, shall we? We're gonna put in one copy of uh, planes to make it five copies of planes. So we're gonna take out one copy of island. So we'll have five islands five planes, six dual lands, 16 lands total. Uh, we're gonna put in, let's put in this spell blast. We'll take out a counter spell. Um, spell blast is similar to counter spell. It can counter a spell, but uh, it's also good. Last month I saw a couple of moxes and a black lotus that my opponents were playing. So I thought if I needed to counter one of those um, zero casting cost artifacts early in the game, I and I had one island or blue mana available, Spell Blast will counter target spell where X is the cost of a target spell. So if they play a mox for zero, you can counter it for one blue, and as opposed to having two blue. They may play it thinking you need two blue for counter spell, but if you only have one blue, you could counter a zero casting cost card with Spell Blast. Um, also, later in the game, you could pay the full X if you had mana available. Um, if they cast a Shivan Dragon, it'd be a little more expensive to cast Spell Blast, but you could theoretically do it and pay like seven mana to counter that. So we'll try that with Counter Spell this, this month in March. Um, Howling Mine is going in. We can only have one of these draw spells in, in the deck, so we're gonna take out Brain Geyser. It served us well. It actually worked as a finisher in one of the games. We had our opponent draw four cards and then they put them like eight cards in their hand and they looked at two black vices and that was lethal. Um, so Howling Mine also I've discovered works well with black vice because they're drawing two cards a turn. That's a must ability. They have to draw two cards um, and that's forcing them to have cards in their hand and they're taking damage on their upkeep. We're also going to do um, an extra copy of Jade Statue. We're going to take out the Icy Manipulator. I think the forecasting cost artifacts are about the same, but um, Jade Statue becomes a finisher. If you can get multiple Jade Statues, let's say we get two Jade Statues on the battlefield and then cast Balance, we wipe out all the creatures, but it doesn't affect Jade Statue because they're artifacts. And so the next turn, we'll have two uh, creatures. If we tap two colorless per each, we can have two, three, six attackers on our turn that are not summoning sick. Um, so that helps. And then the last two cards we're gonna put in are these two copies of Island Sanctuary. Uh, we're gonna take out one Disenchant because Three was plenty. Let's just do one copy of Island Sanctuary. And then I think, let's see. Oh yeah, I was gonna take out Mana Short. Mana Short is way better with Psychic Venom when you tap their lands and they take damage, but we took out the Psychic Venoms last month. So this is really kind of like a, like a weaker time walk. Like, you know, they can still attack, but um, it doesn't really prevent their creatures from attacking unless you have Island Sanctuary up, which you can decline to draw a card and they can't attack um, unless they have flying creatures, but that's why we have Sarah Angel to protect us against flying creatures. So 
when we look at the build of this deck, it's a little more even in terms of number of cards and casting costs. So I'll show you right here. We've got five islands, five planes, plus the six duels to cover all four colors. And we're gonna do seven blue spells. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white spells. So the mana distribution is even. And then in the middle, we have th three green mana, three lands that produce green mana, three lands that produce black mana. Um, so we have roughly three lands in the deck that can cast either Demonic Tutor or the Regrowth. And then we have eight artifacts, which can be cast using mana of any color. So those are kind of in the middle because they're any color can cast those. So that's the whole deck, 60 cards. We're gonna do a quick shuffle. The cat approves. She says this is gonna be good. So blue, white, what do you think? Are there any other things you can do with Island Sanctuary um, that I'm not aware of or not thinking of? Let me know in the comments. If I'm not getting Time Twister, I think there's a possibility where I would have two Island Sanctuaries out plus Howling Mine. The opponent would have to draw two cards every turn. I could decline to draw the first, and I could also decline to draw the second, which means I wouldn't be drawing any cards, but they would not be able to attack. I could maybe use the removal cards in my hand to take care of their threats and just let them deck themselves and not play Time Twister. That's one option. Um, obviously, if I had Jam Day Tome, I could draw a card using four mana, but I wouldn't be able to play Howling Mine. So we're going to try Howling Mine. I think we'll see how that does in March. If uh, Jam Day Tome is better, <clears throat> we might swap Howling Mine for Jam Day Tome next month. Okay, so we shuffled. We're going to draw seven cards. Take a look at our opening hand. Land spells. Black Vices, we also have the Spell Blast that we can try to, count, to counter stuff and Disenchant. So that's a pretty good opener. Um, let's pretend that they get the die roll again and go first. So they're gonna cast something and then we'll draw. And we have Island Sanctuary, beautiful. Let's go ahead and start with an Island and put out a Black Vice and pass the turn. So they had eight down to six. So they'll take two damage off the vice and be at 18. They'll pass, we'll untap, draw, balance. Awesome, we're doing really good now. Let's do, uh, let's play the other, let's play a planes cast, black vice. So we could counterspell a mox if we needed to. I don't think they have a mox in their deck, but we'll see. Uh, we'll pass the turn, they've got five cards, so they're gonna take two damage from the vice, they'll be at 16. Um, yeah, let's pretend, maybe they are on mono red, maybe they do have a Mox Ruby. Um, so for fun and shenanigans, we'll, they, they don't think we can counter spell, so we'll just tap this blue. We'll say counter, we're gonna counter your zero casting cost artifact, and that, that will go in their graveyard. But it gets a card out of their hand, so they're at four cards, so they're under vices, but we'll untap, draw, we have perfect, we'll play another land, we'll play an island. Um, we have balance, island sanctuary, disenchant, we're doing pretty good. We're gonna do the same, we're gonna tap two, leave one island open. We're gonna cast Howling Mine so that uh, they draw two cards. They'll have six cards now, pass it to us. We will untap, draw a card. We'll play another land, we'll play a plains and we'll draw actually draw two cards from Holly Mine, so we drew another planes. There it is. So we have four cards. We can play a ton of stuff now. Let's go ahead and tap a white and a colorless. We're gonna cast Island Sanctuary. Put it over here. Island Sanctuary lets us decline to draw a card 
and then they can't attack us. So I'm assuming they have creatures out. Um, let's say they're non-flying creatures. So uh, we'll wait a turn to cast balance, and then if they, once they get artifacts, we'll start disenchanting. Um, they have five cards because they draw two, so they'll take two more damage, be down to 14. They'll pass to us. We'll untap. On our upkeep, we're going to decline to draw one of these cards. So we're going to say on their next turn, they cannot attack us with their creatures. We drew a Tundra. We're going to play Tundra. We are also going to um, <clears throat> balance. Let's tap a white and a colorless. Let's discard, uh, let's play balance here. So whichever player has more lands, let's say that they only have four lands. So we're gonna discard this island that we tapped. Um, they're gonna dis, then it goes to cards in hand and creatures in play. So I've got two cards. So they're gonna discard down to two cards. They're gonna be under the vices, but all of their creatures goes away. So then it'll be their turn. Let's say they cast an artifact. And then on their end step, we're going to tap a white and a colorless. We'll disenchant that artifact. We have one planes in hand. They'll pass to us. They have no creatures. So we will not use Island Sanctuary. We'll just draw two cards from the Howling Mine. We drew a Savannah and a Crystal Rod. Let's go ahead and tap. Let's play a land. Let's play the Savannah. Let's tap a planes. We'll play crystal rod and we'll pass the turn. They'll draw two, they'll do some stuff. They'll pass back to us, we'll untap. We'll draw two, we say we're still good. We drew a black vice and scrubland. Let's play the scrubland. Let's tap a, an aisle of planes here. We'll cast third black vice. I don't know if they have artifact removal or not, but once they have seven cards or more, they're gonna be taking a bunch of damage. I think they're at 14 right now. We'll pass, we'll, we'll draw our two cards again off of that. Is there anything we want to, we could, yeah, let's do that too. Uh, let's play land, we'll play planes. Um, let's say they have a creature though, so we're gonna tap this planes. We're gonna swords to plowshare their their big creature, that creature is gonna go all out of the game. Let's tap this Savannah and a Plains. We're gonna cast Regrowth. We're gonna regrow the balance. And then we're gonna tap Plains for white and this island here. And we're gonna cast Balance. So um, I, they're gonna be, let's say that we have to, we have seven lands. Let's say they have five, so we have to discard two lands. We'll discard two planes. Um, I have no cards in hand now, so they're down to zero cards in hand. And I have no creatures, so they get rid of all their creatures, and then I pass the turn. They'll take a turn, they'll draw two. They'll pass to us, we'll draw two. Let's say they played a creature. So we're gonna go ahead and tap this island. We'll unsummon their creature to their hand. We are also gonna tap Tundra for blue, two colorless. We're gonna Psionic Blast them for four. They'll be at 10, we'll be at 18. Pass turn, they'll play some cards, they'll pass to us. We'll draw two off the Howling Mine. We'll play both cards. We'll play a Plains and a Soul Ring. We'll pass the turn, they'll pass to us. No threats yet, so we'll draw two cards. Uh, we think that we like this a lot. We're gonna tap two white and a three colorless using the soul ring and the island. So we're gonna cast Sarah Angel, which has vigil vigilance and flying. It does not need to tap when we attack it. And we're also going to cast um, this Demonic Tutor, black and colorless. We're gonna tutor for Time Twister. Shuffle. Pass the turn over to our opponent. They're still under the vice. They're going to draw two from the Howling Mine. They're going to play a massive creature. 
and pass it to us. So we're going to say that um, we're going we're gonna to use Island Sanctuary's ability. We're going to decline to draw one card, but we are going to just draw one card from, from, our, from our draw phase. It is a Tundra, so we'll play our base. We'll play our land for turn. We'll play Bayou. Sorry, it's Bayou. We play Bayou, and then we're going to go ahead and... Do, 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 do. Whatever creature they have can block Sarah Angel. So we'll tap a blue, two colorless, cast Time Twister. It does not get countered because they're not playing blue. Time Twister goes in its own graveyard. We'll shuffle our hand and library all together. They're roughly at 10. There's our shuffle, we'll draw seven. And our land for the turn was Bayou. So we can cast Copy Artifact. We're gonna tap Tundra for blue. Planes for colorless. We're gonna copy artifact the black vice so that we have four black vices. Um, we can also tap this planes for white. We'll swords their creature. Uh, they will get some life off of that, but we'll swing for four. Let's say they gain two life off of their creature, so that 12. They don't have any creatures anymore, so we're gonna swing for four with Sarah that puts them at eight. And then we're gonna just gonna go, we could regrow some stuff, but we're gonna wait to the, to the turn. Uh, they're at eight, they have seven cards because we just time twister. So I'll pass the turn to them and they're gonna take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. They're gonna take 12 damage from the four black vices. So that looks like it might work actually. And then we had a spell blast um, to counter something. We could have countered a, maybe no, we don't know blue mana, so we couldn't use that, but we could regrow time twister on the next turn if we needed to and um, make them take some damage from Black Vice again. All right, so that's the deck. Uh, Blue White Vice this month uh, with Island Sanctuary. We're gonna see how that rolls in March and check back next month to see how we did. Thanks everyone.